Hey, 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 everybody. This is Captain Yeet here for you for another C Raw and the Princess of Power episode review. This is going to be season one, episode six, titled System Failure. So let's get into it. So, the very beginning of this episode starts off in the Kingdom of Drill. This is in Trapta's Kingdom, and we get to meet her kicking staff. And when they don't really get any names throughout this episode, they're just all called the kitchen staff. Uh, for some reason, they don't have names, like I said. If you look it up on the wiki, they probably have names, or I'm pretty sure maybe the creator of the show came out and said their names, but they don't have names in this episode. Basically, they're making it trapped to some food because they are the kitchen staff. And Trapta only really likes to eat mini foods, or specifically little mini cupcakes, and um, like soda. Basically, she just likes to drink soda and little mini cupcakes or mini food. They make the food, and they give it to a robot. And they say that they're kind of glad they don't have to walk around this huge maze that Drill is, but they're still kind of uneasy looking at the robot. The robot goes through the giant maze of the kingdom. It's kind of like a little Scooby-Doo reference because he taps a wall, and the whole wall, you know, spins around, like in the early Scooby-Doo days, or, I mean, even now. <laughs> but, you know, like, like that, I like how really, the very first opening for the old, like, the first show, when Fred was leaning on it and it spun around like that. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And then we get to meet Entrapta. She doesn't have any powers, but she is really, really smart. So she has a lot of technology, like robots and stuff around her. She's in her own lab. She also, I guess her power is her hair. Because as, as you can see, she can use her hair like his own limb, like that. Like, that, that's pretty cool. Sort of like Medusa from Inhumans. Or like, um, I remember that was that one villain in the clown circus that could do that too from Ben 10. Other than that, I can really think of any other character that can do that. But yeah, she can like move her own limbs. Uh, anyway, and Trapta has a piece of First One's tech. It looks like a green little star. She starts to experiment on it. And she also has like a little daily log she uses. And for some reason, I guess she's been in the laboratory for so long, she can't remember what day it is. Because she goes, okay, daily log 103. No, 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 104. Nah, it's 103. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> like at the end of the episode, she does the exact same thing. She's like, daily log 104. I mean, well, like 105. No, 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 it's 104. I, you know, it's 105. Okay, let's do this. So like she can't remember what day it is. I guess because she's just been cooped up inside of the drill for so long. Uh, anyway, she starts to run an experiment on the first one's tech. The first one tech turns from green to red and spreads out a virus throughout all the robots inside the kingdom. And robots start to attack and trap her. She goes, daily log. I'm about to run. <laughs> and then we cut over to the theme song. After the theme song, we cut to Bo, Glimmer, and Adora. And Glimmer is really excited that they can go get a trap or at least talk to her about joining the rebellion. And the queen named Glimmer's mom is Angelica. Or Angela? No, I think it's Angelica. I, keep, I, I just always call her Glimmer's mom. I never say her real name because I always forget it. But I think it's Angelica. Uh, anyway, Adora's kind of confused with, like, why is Glimmer so much more giddier about getting a trap there? Because, I mean, obviously, she knows we need more hands on deck for the rebellion, but... Why is Glimmer so much more happy about Entrapta? She's like, well, Entrapta's a genius. She makes technology that is crazy. She also experiments on the first one's tech. So if we can get her on a rebellion side, she can make some crazy tech for us to fight against the Horde. We might actually stand a good fighting chance. And she's like, okay, okay. And Bo's really excited because of what Glimmer just said and because he's in a Entheria Maker's community and Entrapta's really big in that community. Obviously, Glimmer and Adora have no idea what they're talking. I mean, no idea what he's talking about. And then he says he really hopes Entrapta likes his new trick arrows. He shows off some of his trick arrows. And the one that he recently made that he's pretty proud of is the Sonic Arrow. And Glimmer and Adora kind of make fun of him for having a Sonic Arrow. He's like, yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Put his uh, arrows back into his quiver and keep it moving. They run into a rock slide. Bo wants to go through the rock slide like strategically and quietly because he's like you know if you make any loud noises or like loud moves it's gonna make an even bigger rock slide a door just turns into zero and busts right through it he's like a door what are you doing like you know you could have caused an even bigger accident he goes well i didn't <laughs> well bo i just got these magical powers i'm not gonna waste them i'm gonna keep using them as much as i want and like she didn't say like that me but you know she was basically saying i'm gonna just use my magical powers now that i got them bo it's like, you know, there's you know, every every situation doesn't need to have magic. You can just do it regularly, especially something like this, where it could have turned even worse because of your magic. But, you know, Dora thinks she's invincible because of Sierra, so it doesn't matter. They get to the Kingdom of Drill, and they're really confused because the distress signal is on. It's red spinning around. 
And they're like, well, there was no sighting of the horde around here, but, you know, something's going on, so let's rush in there. A door trips a booby trap, and then both, like, you know, we should be careful. They have booby traps around here. They run inside of the Kingdom of Drill. They keep hearing, like, a bunch of random noises behind them. They're looking, there's nothing there. They see shadows w walking around. There's, like, a little robot limb climbing all over them. They're like, ah, oh, they freak out and throw it to the side. Eventually, a robot does come out, and Bo destroys it. But then when he gets close to it, he's like, what the? This isn't Trampler's design. Why is one of our Trampler's robots attacking us, right? And then a glare pops up on his face, and then we see Glimmer watching a door from a bust on a door. And Glimmer looks so happy. She's like, yeah, yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> like, she's like, do it, do it. Like, she's so happy to see this happen. And then as we see, that was a booby trap. So they fall inside the ground. And then two hands come out of the darkness and grab Bo. And then we don't see Bo again. We stay on Glimmer and the door. Anyway, uh, there's like another Scooby-Doo reference, kind of, because Glimmer and the door fall down a huge pipe and it lands them inside of a cage. And that was sort of like Scooby-Doo 2 when they were trying to walk inside that guy's house. We thought was pretty funny. Anyway, Glimmer, she is like, like really, not ecstatic, but she's like panicking. Yeah, that's the, that's the word. She's panicking because she's like, you know, we left Bo out there with a ton of robots. We need to hurry up and get to him. The door's like, okay, teleport us out of here. So Glimmer teleports around the Kingdom of Drew, but she can't figure out where to go. She keeps jumping into different booby traps, teleporting outside. The door's like, okay, no more <laughs> teleporting. <laughs> we need to figure out where we're going. And then a trap that busts through the ceiling, and she goes, hey, hey, princesses, finally we're saved. Welcome to the Kingdom of Drill. This is normally a really nice place, but you know, there's a lot of killer robots around, so it's not, uh, not too lively right now. <laughs> the Kingdom of Drill is not too lively right now because of all the killer robots. Then we cut over to the kitchen and the kitchen staff and Bo. Basically, kitchen staff's like, well, Bo, you can stay here with us. We have plenty of food to last for months. The food is many, but hey, we're good. I mean, the robot's got to run out of energy eventually, right? Bo's like, what? No, my friend is out there. We need to go help them. Come on, come help me. They're like, whoa, <laughs> we're just the kitchen staff. We can't do anything. We just make food. He goes, so what? That doesn't mean that it has to stop you. And then his little iPad starts to beep. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The robots are attracted to noise. So keep the beeping down. He goes, no, 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 no. This iPad thing. Well, he doesn't call it an iPad, but I'm just calling it an iPad. Because he hasn't given it an official name yet. Anyway, he's like, you know, it detects magic. So I can track my friends down. And then they look at a bunch of red dots. They're like, oh, are those your friends? No. Those are robots going to bust in here. <laughs> we need to get ready to fight. And they start panicking even more, obviously. Then we cut over to a Trapta, Glimmer, and a door. And a Trapta, wait, I said that already. And Trapta's like, whoa, your friend is tall. Can I study you? Can I, you know, experiment on you or whatever? She's like, no, what's, what are you doing? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Of course you can't do that. And she goes, wait a second, your sword is first one tech. Can I, can I see it? No, 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 not right now. What is going on? And Trapta explains about how, you know, the, she was experimenting on first one's tech. Oh, my goodness. Uh, she was experimenting on first one's tech. It spread out a virus. Now all her robots are going crazy. But she doesn't want to... I mean, all her robots are going crazy. Then Glimmer says, so we, if we destroy that first one tech that's making your robots go crazy, then we can shut down all the robots, right? She goes, probably, yeah, but, you know, that experiment was taking, like, weeks to prepare. Plus, that is the most advanced first one's tech I have ever seen. We can't just destroy it. Then a gigantic robot comes out of like a cleaning bot, starts to attack them, and Chapter jumps on it to try to deactivate it. But her hair gets caught, caught inside the spinners, so Andora jumps up to save her. But then the virus that affected the robot starts to co corrupt her sword, because that's the first one, Tech 2. So Andora's eyes turn red, and she starts going crazy, and she just starts wailing on the robot. So eventually she destroys the robot, and Chapter hair gets free. Glimmer sees like a door's acting kind of strange, so she grabs the sword, throws it to the side, and a door D transforms. And then we cut back over to Bo and the kitchen. So I was looking at a sick kitchen society, um, the kitchen staff, and they fight off some robots that gives the kitchen staff some confidence to actually go out into the kingdom of Drill to help Bo, because the you know they get some confidence from fighting off the robots to help them Bo. Then we get back over to a trapped on the door, and trapped that wants to study a door because she just became small, even though she was big. Obviously, Glimmer's like, she's not a thing. She's not some experiment. This is a person. This is this is my friend. What is wrong with you? Well, we can clearly see that that system is a failure. So we have to 
cut off the we have to break the first one tech to free all the robots because we're going to die here and Travis was like yeah okay yeah this experiment was a failure <sighs> okay come on follow me I know this place like the back of my hand let's go and Adora she's acting like she's drunk because since the first one tech had corrupted now it affected her she's basically like glimmer <laughs> what's happening <laughs> Woo! <laughs> like, like she's acting like she's drunk you know, it really affected her in a weird way. So we get a montage of them walking around the Kingdom of Drill, trying to find Entrapta in the laboratory. And we get this one picture of Entrapta as a kid. It's kind of hard to see, but it's Entrapta as a kid, like putting up a peace sign. And we see a robot with a mustache and a robot with some hair. So I'm guessing something happened to Entrapta's family, probably the Horde, and they died. So Entrapta was basically raised by, I guess, the people in drill plus the robots that's why she doesn't really understand human emotions or feelings like that because she was raised by robots most of her life and probably around with the kingdom of drill eventually they get to her laboratory and the trap types in the code and then a huge electricity shock happens and it was so funny when they found it because the trap was like ah here we are we weren't lost of course we weren't lost i knew exactly where we were going but no they that huge montage basically shows she had no idea where they were going Anyway, like I said, um, she types in the code, but a big electricity shock happens. Well, that was, that was funny in Torture as a Texture. And she's like, wow, this is amazing. Even my, even I'm locked out of the system. What are we going to do? And uh, Glimmer's like, okay, I'm going to teleport in there. She teleports inside of there, but then there's like a buttload of robots. So she has to fight them off, teleport out. She's like, whoa, there's too many robots in there. We need to think of another game plan. Then a robot starts to chase a door, Glimmer, and a Traptor. We cut over the bow. Him in the kitchen uh, staff, I keep wanting to say society, um, fight off some more robots, but they're still kind of scared to go help and trap the Glimmer and Bo, because Bo was able to track down Glimmer because she just teleported, so now you can track her. And he gives them a big emotional speech about how, you know, I see, I mean, you may see just some random kitchen staff. I see some uh, well-trained warriors of the rebellion. Just because you don't have powers doesn't mean it should stop you. It didn't stop me, so let's do this. And they like see a bunch of glitter in Bo's eyes because there was one robot making a ton of bubbles and stuff. And they get glitter and they get glitter in their eye too. Which I thought that was so funny. Get a robot they just killed with making bubbles and now it's making even more bubbles when he was giving the speech. So they like get really riled up to help Bo. A trapter glimmer and Bo get swarmed by a ton of robots. It's too many of them. But then the kitchen staff and Bo come to help out. They take out all the robots. They make a plan to bust in there and to get the um I mean, to destroy the first one is tech. He also introduced himself to a trap that said he's a really big fan. And trap that seemed kind of nervous. She was like, hey, <laughs> he gives him a piece of her hair to like shake. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Bo, Bo, Bo's only saying hi. She's like flustered. I'm okay, Bo. <laughs> I see you. Can you flustered just by saying hi. I'm a big fan of your work. <laughs> anyway, to get inside of the laboratory, the kitchen staff start to fight off the robots while Bo and Trapter try to destroy the first one's tech by unplugging the power source, but it becomes its own power source to power off the robots. And then a bunch of robots start to grab onto Bo and the Trapter. Bo uses his sonic arrow to destroy the the first one's tech and it turns the door back to normal. And Trapter thanks them for freeing Drill and for helping them, so still gladly join the rebellion. And then Okay, that's kind of cool. The very end of the episode, uh, Glimmer's like, you know, hey, I'm um, sorry. That that Sonic Arrow was pretty cool. He's like, what? I didn't hear you. He's like, okay. <laughs> Glimmer's his face like, okay, I get it. I get it. Like, it's fine. Like, it was pretty cool. Uh, they apologized to Bo. Um, there was another rock slide. And she's like, hey, Adora, there's another rock slide. Maybe you should just punch it. And Bo's like, okay. Like, he makes the same face that Glimmer just made, which I thought was pretty funny. He was like, okay, real funny. <laughs> anyway, after that, they both they both start to attack the rock slide. And then the last scene of this episode was a trap that basically saying, okay, that experiment was a failure. But I can't let this first one tech go to waste. Let me see what I can do to recreate it. So she takes the pieces of all the first one tech, starting to weld it back together, and then we get the credits. Sorry for speaking so fast. It's because this is my third time recording. Thank you, Lord. I was able to get through it this time. I got work in like uh, 30 minutes. So I was trying to get it done before I had to go to work. And I'm like, man, why does it keep cutting me off? And, you know, 
So I had to talk a little fast. I mean, I did get through the whole episode. <laughs> like, you know, I didn't forget any part. I might have left it like a joke or two, but I got through like the main parts of the episode. There was this one cool scene with all the kitchen staff, like putting the power together. Be well, powers, because the guy, the guy, he would use a bunch of soda to spray on the robots. She would use a bunch of plates, the girl with the blue hair, the throw like Captain America. And she would just use like the pin roller thing for like mashed potatoes and stuff and whack robots around. <laughs> so that's how they were fighting off the robots, which I thought was pretty cool. And they're actually pretty good at it. <laughs> they were actually pretty good at doing that, which I thought was funny. But uh, yeah, that's the episode. So like, see, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Thank you all for watching. I gotta find the scene. Thank you all for watching. I think you all there would be a wonderful human beings, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. All right. Okay, I found the scene I was talking about. Here it is, <laughs> where they like threw all their stuff together and it made like a huge explosion. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. And now the episode. Whew. That's so funny because normally I need like twenty minutes, but the last two episodes I need like 13, 16 minutes. It's that's so funny to me. I guess because I'm talking fast, but I don't want to talk too fast where you can't understand me. Whew. All right.